Hey everybody, there's a lot of people that have been asking for examples of the rugs that I make. I'm gonna show you guys the rugs that I did right at the beginning of when I started on my tufting journey. And I'm also gonna show you some of my recent ones, so let's go. All right, to start off, I'm gonna show you guys the first couple rugs that I've made. I made a Pac-Man, I made a game controller, and I made like the Xbox uh, button sign. And you can tell that I wasn't very good at this. Uh, you see that there's a lot of uh, the fabric um, that was being uh, cut as I was tufting and that's why it shows through the yarn. There's some places over here where, you know, I needed, I'm not sure if the yarn fell off or actually, it seems like I actually didn't uh, tuft those areas. I actually forgot to flip my canvas um, <laughs> the first time I, I was tufting. So for example, this one, this is supposed to be like a joystick. It's supposed to be on the left side and then the buttons are supposed to be on the right. But you know, uh, it was my first time. So like I said, there's uh, a lot of work that uh, I needed to be done. The, the trimming wasn't that good. I kept this rug for that same reason. To see how much better um, I'm doing now that I've been tufting for a couple, um, you know, a couple months at this moment. There's this Pac-Man one. Um, this one actually doesn't look that bad, but it, it's, if you can see here down the middle, I don't know why it does that up. Probably because uh, I didn't tuft. You know, the lines weren't uh, as close as they should have been. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a large gap. Um, I did put a backing on these. I have been thinking about taking it off so you guys can see the how the lines go. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see if we can rip it off. Oh my god. That super glue really works. I can't do it. Ugh. What what did I use for this? If you're interested in the super glue that I use, um it's actually not super glue, I'm sorry. It's um it's glue that I use for the uh for the gun, for the glue gun, it's a Gorilla Glue, uh, but it really works. I'm gonna have um, all of my tools and everything that I use on the bottom, so you guys can go ahead and uh, check those out. If if you guys are interested in purchasing those, um, they are links to Amazon, and I do get a little bit uh, of a commission, probably like a couple cents, um, from the stuff that you got that you guys buy, and it does help me with my channel okay so as you can see uh, I did use the gorilla glue sticks along the edge and in the middle I used uh, carpet glue in order to help this stick to my rug um, yeah it looks looks like a mess they're not even you know there's like lumps and stuff here you can feel them um, it should look like this over here where there's just lines going down um, Yeah Those are the rugs my first couple rugs All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start Showing you guys, you know my Other rugs that I've done this right here was done during my second batch. This is supposed to be Captain Jack Sparrow i um, not sure if you guys are able to see it, but it's a silhouette. I think if I should have uh, used red for the bandana, um, it would have been a lot more noticeable. Uh, some people can't figure it out, but once you see it, uh, you know who it is. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the best. Like I said, it, it was my second Tufted rug. When I made this one, I could see that uh, I was actually, you know, improving and at the moment, I didn't have any shears to detail. I had the shears to trim it down so it could be even, but the details uh, were all done with scissors. And let me tell you, uh, having trimmers to uh, go in and detail and make sure everything looks good is way better than using scissors. You're gonna be here forever if you're trying to use uh, scissors. So still had, you know, a couple mistakes here and there, like, right here um, probably missed a spot but overall a lot better than my first couple rugs 
these rugs are actually uh, ready to be sold and they're uh, detailed I have the backing I have the um, edge on them and I have my label on them as well so I have Sally I have Jack Skeleton uh, I made this one right here it looks pretty cool um, when I was looking at the image of the mushroom for some reason I thought infinity gauntlet so I call this the infinity mushroom because it has all stones all five uh, stone colors on the top mushroom I did make these for Halloween so I have Jason this is supposed to be a Mr. Michael Myers I also have this one uh, Chucky and this one over here is um, the guy from Scream I don't know what his official name is but that's him a couple of the rugs I've done I got Harley Quinn I have a Slayer logo over here I also have this one here is the uh, Hellfire Club from Stranger Things um, I was working on this while that show was on its third season I believe and uh, I really liked how it came out um, these were you know a little bit of a challenge but I made them work one of my favorite rugs that I've done is this one right here is the piñata from Fortnite uh, I really had a lot of fun doing this one just because just how it looks I like I like how it looks and even the um, the colors that were added here I don't know there's just something about this one where it looks like pretty smooth um, I think I had at this point I had the uh, shears to detail it so that's why it came out really good this rug is like one of the ones that uh, I'm really proud of just because it's something that was at the moment very complex and I hadn't done something like this and once I finished it and saw how it looked um, it just made me want to do something even more complex do something that's a little bit harder you know smaller lines more more colors just because it's a challenge that I want to throw out to, for myself to see if I can improve myself and be that much better at tufting. This is one of the big rugs that I have. This is Michael Myers black and white. Um, letters are always challenging. And I think I did this when I was first starting as well. So these are not as sharp, as nice as they uh, can be now. But you know, they, they came out good. People can read it. They know who it is. And yeah, I have a whole lot of other rugs that I can show you guys, but I'm not sure if you guys are interested in that. Um, don't want to make a super long video, but if you guys are interested in seeing more of my rugs, let me know if you have any questions as to how these rugs are made or just anything in general about the tufted rugs. Um, make sure you write them down in the comments down below. That way I can make videos and uh, answer your questions. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my tufted rugs and learning more about this amazing craft. And if you'd like to support my channel and help me create more content like this, you can buy me a coffee by clicking on the link in the description box. Every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future creative adventures. Thanks again for watching and happy tufting.